It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the Literature Club. How come? I don't know. I feel like it used to be really good with just putting up with it because it would be so stupid to cause drama over a joke I didn't like or something. But I just... I have a hard time doing that lately. But it's my fault for being overly sensitive. If I have a problem, I'm not gonna demand for everyone around me to change. But, yeah, I know. Mark and Sayori really don't agree with that kind of thing. But they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say that you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. It's not like my friend group does that kind of thing. I'd just be making an embarrassment of myself. I'm sorry, none of this has anything to do with you. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's okay. I like listening. What, listening to other people's problems? Yes. By the way, if you haven't noticed, my Natsuki voice is already gone. I don't even know why I decided to re-record today. <laughs> That's weird. Sorry. I just like learning about people. Do you think it's weird? No, that's not weird. I probably just misunderstood, so I don't know. Does that mean I should keep going? If you'd like. Okay, well, I don't know what to talk about now. What are some things that you like about your friends? A lot. <laughs> Man, oh my god, you can hear me struggling to pull the voice. A lot of things. I mean, they're really fun to hang out with, like after school and on the weekends. And they really like my baking. And it's fun to complain about school together. They make me laugh a lot and we have a lot of good memories and inside jokes. Oh, I'm bad at a lot of those things. So? Are those all things that are important to you? Well, kind of. But they're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everyone in the club is really different from that. But I'm still friends with them too. Well, Sayori really likes your baking. And she makes you laugh. And she complains a lot. That doesn't mean she's anything like my other friends. Well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Yuri, calm down! Stop it! Excuse me? How about you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Natsuki stands up. No, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. Natsuki sighs and shakes her head. It's fine. As long as you understand that you can't just judge people like that. I'm sorry. Natsuki sits back down. You just can't compare friends like that and, like, measure who's better than who. Everyone's different. I'm sorry. I just... I just don't like people who want to hurt you. Ah. A moment of silence stretches between them. They don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Just don't worry about me so much. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. She's good at these things. Not really. Also, I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just stuff I have to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Sayuri never seem to understand. Sometimes all you do is look at them wrong and they're all like, Ah, oh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? I just want to mind my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you. So, you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. Oh, you don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean that. Plus, it makes sense that someone who doesn't talk a lot would make a good listener. Thank you. You're also nice. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who just can just say whatever's on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed or upset. Or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? You don't have to answer that, I'm just talking to myself. Yuri nods and remains silent. Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? Oh, um, well, a lot of reasons. But I just get sucked into it so easily. It's so immersive, like, I want to be part of it. I think there are a lot of things about people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated. Especially when it comes to following social conventions and the group interactions. I just don't really understand it and I have no desire to participate. But it's different with books. It feels like I always want to be around the characters. I feel such a strong emotional connection with them in ways that I've never felt with real people. So, in that way, it can sometimes feel more real than real life. Really? It's that hard for you to be around people? Like, all the time? Mm, fairly often, especially in group settings. When people are making all kinds of conversation and saying jokes and all that, I don't know what to do and I just disengage. Oh, that doesn't get lonely? I don't think so. I can still enjoy spending time with people one-on-one, -on -one, and I have online friends too, of course. 
Do you ever do you ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books all the time? Sometimes so badly that it makes my heart ache. Yeah, me too. Really? Um, a lot. Like more than anything. After Natsuki mutters that, silence falls in the staircase once more. But it's a mutual silence, one full of understanding. Oh man, I don't even know if I can keep doing the voice by my my voice is so like my voice box is so. <laughs> Self love part two. Hey. Oh, hello. I almost thought you weren't coming today. Yeah, well, lunch is already more than halfway over. Natsuki had typically been meeting Yuri in the staircase much earlier, since it had been a good way of dodging her friends when she didn't feel like seeing them. Today she's holding a large plastic container in both hands. I ran into my friends, so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah, I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should. I hadn't seen them in a while, which I had to come up with an excuse for, but I expected that. Plus, I have way more of these than I know what to do with, so I figured I would share the w share with them too. So I figured I would share with them too! As she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of her container. You made cupcakes. You know it! It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. You can take one if you want. Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers. It's brown with dark green frosting, immaculately shaped into a floral pattern, and topped with some kind of glittery powder. How pretty. I just said, uh, so I may not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really think about it, I just made them. Ah, uh, I just thought that because green is Monica's favourite colour, right? Well, yeah, but that's not really... Yuri takes a small bite. This is green tea, flavoured. I love green tea. Oh, you do? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm... I'm not. I just felt happy. Oh, sorry. Usually when... Never mind. What I mean is that I'm glad. Sorry for saying dumb things again. I just wanted to do something nice. And this is something I happen to be good at. And I do know that you like them from past experience. Um... Yuri turns red, recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Natsuki's cupcakes. Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse, so she just settles for a disapproving look. How did you get into baking? I don't know. Was it in a manga by any chance, Natsuki? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. It kind of just always appealed to me. Well, a few years ago, I read this one manga with a lot of baking, so I got, like, super into it for a while. I was probably making stuff almost every day. But it's something that I always knew I liked anyway. It's like, baking is like art, but when you get good at it, it becomes more delicious. I'm struggling to imagine myself putting my heart into something so artistic, knowing that it would just be eaten afterwards. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're too practical for it. 